Welcome back. For the last few weeks, I've been challenging viewers to get physically healthy, but it's also important to work on the emotional part of you. We found three viewers who, like many of you, feel stuck in life. So with the help of our friends at CoverGirl and Pantene, we sent them away for a two-day intense retreat at Miraval Resort. The staff of experts there are known for helping people get started on the road to physical and spiritual wellness. You just may see yourself reflected back in one of these women. Take a look. Sandy is a devoted single mom whose only daughter is leaving for college next year. She says she's terrified of being an empty nester because she doesn't know who she is beyond being a mother. I need to set boundaries, learn how to gain my own independence, find my own happiness. Teresa is a working mother of three and says she can't find any balance in her life and has forgotten how to connect with her husband. My relationship with my husband over the past five years or so has changed a lot. We uh, find it harder to spend time together. We are always running around, so definitely spark has to be ignited again. Single mom Giandra is at a crossroad. She's lost a ton of weight, but unfortunately lost her job, sense of self, and confidence. Since 2012, I've lost a little more than 80 pounds. I'm still struggling with that because I still see myself how I was. Right now, I am unemployed. Um, I lost my job recently, and it really scares me because I still have a daughter I have to provide for. These three women met with renowned psychologist and author Dr. Robin Smith at Miraval Resort for an extreme two-day workshop. You guys are here to make a change in your lives. There have been roadblocks that have gotten in the way. I'm here to help you so that you can overcome it. Dr. Robin worked with the women for hours. I just want to be confident in the abilities I have. I just feel like, you know what, I'm not doing a good job. I think I've been hiding for a lot of years. I know that it's time to start living for me. By the end of a very emotional day, they began to realize change was possible. There is not a woman anywhere listening to you wouldn't say, I've been there. If you set yourself on fire. I mean, with your own passion, what would happen in your marriage, with your children, everything changes. I'm gonna push you harder than anyone has ever done. We're gonna take it to the next level. Mm. <laughs> By sunset, the women were exhausted. I mean, that, that kind of therapy takes a lot out of you. The next day they woke up, ready to take on their biggest challenge yet. Take a look. Welcome to Aerial Yoga. The day started out fun, but they were just warming up for their most difficult challenge, the quantum leap. The women are gonna climb a pole 25 feet in the air, and then they're gonna stand, believe it or not, on the top of a small round disc, and it does move and shake. <sighs> they actually have to jump off. They take a leap into the unknown. Got me? We got you. Okay. Promise? I promise. They've been telling themselves, I can't get the job I want. I can't get my spark back. I can't conquer my fears of rejection. And this exercise is going to teach them that, yes, they can. I can't do this. Just take your time. This is how we make changes, one step at a time. <sighs> There you go. There Good you go. Good job. Holy cow. Woo! If anybody knows how scared of heights I am, this is really scary. It is scary. Oh my god. Yes, oh my god, you got it. You guys ready? Okay. Take a step. I feel liberated. On to, to the, the next, next challenge. Woo! <laughs> wow. That looks really fun and really scary. I'm just watching the eyes of the ladies in here, and, and you guys are really living this moment with them. Uh, all the women say they left Miraval change forever, and we'll meet the women in just a moment. But first, the woman who made it happen, Dr. Robin Smith is here. Thank you so much, Dr. Robin. 
Now, you say what we saw on the tape is really just the first step. It was just the first step. I mean, there's a whole journey ahead of them. But, you know, where we really start with this is having to be alert and awake. I mean, you can't make a change unless you know that there's something off and something wrong. And so the first step they took was way before what you just saw. It was being able to acknowledge, I'm unhappy. I'm scared. I'm scared to live in the skin I'm in. I don't feel good about who I am. And I got to figure that out. What can women do who can't access a place like that? What can they do on their own? You know, they can do it right now as they're listening to you and me. How many women are invited out to lunch with a friend and they always make an excuse about why they can't go? Mm. But the reason they really aren't going, they say, oh, my kids, or they don't want to tell their friend, I don't have any money right now because I'm not right. working. Right. So all of that fronting and hiding and pretending is all rooted in shame. And I call shame and blame the toxic twins. Mm. So we got to get rid of those toxic twins and actually do something that takes you out of your comfort zone. Say yes to someone who asks you out or maybe tell somebody no. Ha. Ha. <laughs> You know, my, my father would always say to me, a no is as strong as a yes. And, yes. and I guess sometimes we, sometimes we do go with the program. And then some of us say no too often. And it's just really a defense mechanism to sort of push people away. Absolutely. But just engaging the world. Absolutely. Engaging your friends. Engaging your friends. And you know, Latifah, one of the things I really want every woman to recognize a lot of times we have these fantasies. We're like waiting for somebody else to make our life happen. Mm. You know who we're waiting for? Ourselves. I mean, <laughs> that's who needs yes, to show up. Absolutely.